All right, all right, guys. Let's go ahead and get this started. We're going to talk about Love Bites here. We're going to talk about Love Bites knocking at Heaven's Gate Part 2. I finally got a chance to watch this thing. I had to watch it a couple times, actually, to soak it all in. Really good. Really good. I, I am glad I got this. This is phenomenal. This is great. Of course, you might say I'm biased because I'm a pretty big Love Bites fan. They're like one of my favorite bands. Okay? That is true. That is true. But that tells you, if you're a Love Bites fan, you're going to love this. Obviously. Duh. Right? But it, it's, it's, it's great. Like, I'm so glad I got this. The one reason why I'm glad I got this, while you, well, in this day and age, you might ask, why do I want a Blu-ray when I could just watch everything on stream? I could just, you know, YouTube stuff or whatever. Uh, the quality of this is so good. It's so good. Like, I reacted to some of these songs, some of these performances, and I got to say, like, it was much, much better all the way around to see it on this Blu-ray. And my my TV's on some fancy 4K. Yeah, sure, it's 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 a decent size. It, it, it's gonna look good, and it did look good. It looked great. It looked phenomenal. Like the detail was so good. It was so rich. It was like you were actually there, you know. And they just put on a great show, a phenomenal show. Vividly, it is entertaining. Even if you're not a Love Bites fan, vividly, it it, it grabs you, and that's what's so cool about it. Like, my kids are not Love Bites fans, but they saw what was on the screen. The laser show, the light show, and all that stuff. It was great. It was fantastic. Um, yeah, man, I'm still processing it, honestly. I did start off with an open... Oh, oh, well, okay. Let's, let's, let's organize this review real fast. I already did an unboxing where I talked about what all comes in it. Uh, so I'm not going to go in, into all that. You can see the unboxing video, okay? Um, but while you're here, let's talk about what you, what is in the DVD, like uh, the Blu-ray on the disc, okay? So, yes, it is the concert. Um, that is great. But it's also, you have extra footage of five additional edits. And these edits are... Like a cam is focused, like the cameras are focused on a particular member of the band. Now, there's only five, five of these edits. And it's one edit per member and per song. So, for example, Under the Red Sky is to focus on a Sami edit. If you wanted to focus on a Sami during, let's say, Empty Daydream, where it, it is very Sami heavy in the beginning... Well, you're not going to get that, but it doesn't matter anyway, because guess what? The camera is focused on Asami when it needs to be focused on Asami during an empty daydream. So while it would have been cooler if these edits existed were, were an option for every song, I will say that the cameraman or cameraman or whatever, you know, the, the crew was definitely on point, especially, I guess, in the editing process, putting it all together, really. Um, we're on point in making sure everyone is, is shown, especially in their moments, like the moments where they're really showing, when they're, like, really doing something, like like highlights, if you will. <clears throat> you know, that's always, that's always, uh, that's always going to be an issue, I think. You know, when you try to put a live show and capture it uh, on, on, a, on a disc or live stream, and you want each member to have their time. You want you want the, the people who are watching it to be able to, to really experience it, right? But also notice like key moments of particular members. It's like, well, it's like, how do you do that? You know, it's like, well, obviously, if someone's having a solo, you focus on them. If, a, if Fami's playing uh, a lead bass line or a bass solo, you focus on her, and that happens. If Haruna's... Uh, killing on the drums, do you focus on her? And that happens. If a Sami's singing, focus on her? Okay. So really, <clears throat> well, I did I did complain internally, really. I didn't really put it out there. But I did complain internally about that there's only five of these edits. It didn't really matter because 
like the camera crew and the editing process was pretty good where like you're you're not gonna miss key moments like like you should be fine with that like i think it's i think it's really good i i think it's well well done there uh let's see so you have i did i didn't even count how many songs we have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen songs? Sixteen songs, little man. Did I ever count that? Because you have the opening, which is uh, a narration. It's kind of cool. Actually, it's really cool. They have like a like a whole thing in the background uh, with the moon and all that stuff. And the the guy narrating it, I, f I don't know his name. I'm sure he's credited. Um his name escapes me at the moment. I think I read his name before in the previous uh, D uh, Blu-ray. I was saying DVD for the previous one. But, okay, cool. It sets the tone. They come in with The Awakening, which is that opening track. It's a killer opening track, okay? It really is. Um, man, and let's talk about that. For an opening track, The Awakening, when it, when it, when it breaks in, when the, when the guitars and drums and bass just... Feel it. There is a nice change up of, of the rhythm of that. It's a, it's a simple riff that keeps on hammering on. It's very relentless. It's it's there's there's no mercy with it, and there's some nice change ups to it. Um, with with the beat that make it kind of fresh and dynamic. Then the awakening goes into holy war. Fantastic song, great performance. The light shows are amazing. This is gonna. This this commentary is going to apply to all these songs. I will say, about midway through, I was like, "Man, there is so much going on. There is so much going on. I think I, I think I might need to take a break." <laughs> these ladies are so good. They're constantly delivering. The light show is so good. Everything is great. I was like, I can't believe that they just. They just play like that. Like I was, I was, I was actually looking for signs of them, of them getting tired or anything. Didn't see it. Did not see it. So, pretty cool. After Holy War, you have Bravehearted, fantastic song. Uh, Haruna completely killed that song on the drums. After that, you have a uh, Golden Destination. Now, Golden Destination is very cool. I haven't heard this live. <laughs> I know I reacted to live performances of it. All right, but I was gonna say I haven't heard this one live. Like, I guess currently, I guess you could say. I does that make sense? I probably have. Probably have. It, it just it just sounded so cool. It was great to hear. Like the uh, the guitar tone that that Miyako is using to kind of give it that kind of synth sound is just so cool. Um. Yeah, yeah, it, it's a straight up cool song, man. Then you have Stand and Deliver, which this is like a great version of Stand and Deliver. Like everything is on point. Even the vocals, even the backing vocals and the chorus and all that. Perfect. Perfect. Then you have Shadow Maker. Yeah, Break of the Wall, Empty Daydream. Mm. One of the highlights for me uh, of, of watching this was the piano solo. Uh, the uh, Chopin, the Chopin piano solo, very cool. I like how it bleeds right or bleeds blends right into the Swan Song, which was a or is a very beautiful song. Then they go from that soft, sweet ballad of the Swan Song, and they go into Judgment Day, which is a heavy hitting, hard hitting song, as you know, as you know. And you've probably already seen the video where Hugh Jackman or Discount Wolverine, Dollar Store Wolverine, Dollar General Wolverine reacted to it. Pretty cool. See, I know some people. I can pull some strings. I have some access to uh, some celebrities. Look at that. Uh, so then you have When Destiny's in Line, MDO. During MDO, it kind of looked like maybe Asami was getting a little tired, a little fatigued. But, you know, you know. I was probably just looking for it. I was probably looking for it. Because like, man, these, these ladies, they play complicated tracks, complicated songs, right? And this is a full list. And it is and, and Isami is a great front lady. She's a great hype lady. Okay. 
like even when I the guitars are just playing and then solo work and stuff like that. Like Asami is not just standing there doing nothing. She's hyping up the crowd. Um, she might interact with Haruna, kind of mess with her, even brush her hair with her hand. Okay. Oh, that's another thing we talk about. The stage presence. Stage presence was great. The ladies moved around and they would take advantage of uh, getting up near Haruna, going down closer, moving around, changing places, even, uh, you know, as they do, like, um, the, the Sami, uh, not Sami, Miyako Midori and Fami would get together on one side and, and change places. It was great. It was great. And smiles for days on Fami. You know that. There was a moment. Uh, I think it was. I think it was MDO. There was a moment where Miyako was headbanging. I I rarely see Miyako headbang. You know that's true. Miyako does headbang, but it's it's normally she kind of has like more of a stoic look about her. But I kid you not, she was headbanging and her hair was going. It was it looked cool. You could do that more often, man. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, this is cool. Now, I know there's like, let's see. I know as far as like commentary tracks, I haven't checked that. I mean, that's going to be in, in Japanese, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry about that. I watched, I got this and I watched it for what I wanted to see the concert and to take, play around with the uh, uh, alternative edits. And it delivers on that. It delivers on that. So, if you can still get a Blu-ray, I would say do it, man. Because the quality is so much better. That, I mean, unless I guess you have like a high-end monitor for a computer, like you're missing out on the quality of it. And, and maybe like my monitors are like uh, some cheap $100 monitors that, I don't know, they work. But as far as quality goes, I don't, I don't see the quality. I don't, I don't get quality from these screens here. But I got quality when I saw this. It was great. I loved it. Anyway. Yeah, man. I'm glad I got it. It's great to support the band. I appreciate the, the hard work and everything they put into this. I love it, man. It was great. Uh, highly recommend. What else is there to say? It's good. Two thumbs up. All right, man. You guys take it easy. And have a good one.